In this video, we're going to learn how to program a formula into some of these boxes. So we want to calculate velocity, acceleration, and kinetic energy. For the velocity, I'm going to use the idea that the velocity at one second is equal to the change in position. So this column is really position, which would be this box minus this box over change in time, this box minus that box. And I can do that throughout the whole column. So for here, it's going to be equal to this box minus this box divided by the time. Now the time, what's great is, in this case, it's 2 minus 0 or 2 seconds. If I find the velocity at 6 seconds, it's going to be this box minus this box over this box minus this box. But the difference between these two boxes is always 2. So I can just put a 2 in there and it should work. There we go. Now I want to extend that all the way down so the calculation is done for the entire column. You'll notice I can't find the velocity here at zero seconds because there's no point before. There's one after, but there's no point before. And I can't do that at 10 seconds because there's a point before, but no point after. Okay, let's try calculating the acceleration. For the acceleration, I can use a very similar idea. The acceleration is a change in velocity, so this box minus this box, over the change in time, this box minus this box. That acceleration is equal to the acceleration in the middle, which is right there. So let me program that in. It's going to be equal to bracket C5 minus C3. And again, the time is going to be from there to there. 3 minus 1 is 2. The time is always going to be 2, so I'm going to divide by 2. And it should work. There we go. Well, that makes sense. The acceleration is zero because, well, the velocity at this point is not changing. I can extend that box down to here and calculate all the accelerations for this. You'll notice I don't have one here because, again, I don't have any data before this point. I've only got data at that point. Here, I can't calculate the acceleration because I don't have data after this point. Let's calculate the kinetic energy now. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. I've got velocity, so I can program that in by saying the kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.5, 1 half, times the mass, let's just say the mass in my example is 3 kilograms, times V squared. V is this column here, which is C3. So I've got to go up to here, formulas, math and trig, go to um, power, and I say it's box C3. And the exponent I'm going to use is square, so it's 2. Calculate that, there it is. Um, bring that down, and I calculate it for every point I have a velocity. You'll notice these numbers look different than these numbers. What I did was I went and formatted the cell, and you should clean this chart up, put in you know, something to indicate that where boxes are, you don't know an answer. Um, formatting cells, I picked a uh, number. And you can set the number of decimal places if you want, if that's too many. You should clean this chart up, put something in here to indicate that there's no data. And then um, you can plot these graphs. If you don't know how to plot them, take a look at our video on plotting graphs. Good luck.